TD Amanda is the number one stock screener and scanner. This is how we're finding these winners early, guys. Uh, simple to use by total beginners. Got advanced features for professional traders. Great support. Uh, one hour free one on one training. And check out these testimonials. I mean, they're off the hook. Uh, guys love this program and they're making a ton of money. Okay, these are the six wing spars or arms. And uh, this end here is going to have a 5 8 inch bearing with a quarter inch shaft. And the way I marked these out was I went in 0 0.057 from this end. And then, of course, you know, these are one inch wide, a uh, quarter inch thick, and uh, 12 inches long. But the way I found this center here was, he put this on, say, half an inch. And you lock it down, and then you can, you can, this is Dykem Blue. You can, uh, you know, mark it. And that's, you know, exactly half an inch, right in the middle. Then, I used this really sharp uh, you know, one of these I won't do it, center punch. And I already did this one, but then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to because this is really sharp, because I, I want to drill a 16th inch hole through all of these, but I want to make this bigger so that the drill finds it real easy. Now this is sharpened too, so find the little, the sharp hole and make it just a little bit bigger. And then the 16th inch drill should find this because this will be, I don't have a mill, so I won't have to locate these, you know. So, I'm just going to put it in here. And get it approximately right. And then I can use this vise to dial it in. And hopefully the drill will sink in there, centered there, and then I can just drill it. So now when I get the mill I can, you know, set this up, dial it in, whoops, great, that was scary, see how far that bent, see, <laughs> you know, I can dial it in here and then switch the mill and mill my hole for the bearing, okay, and I need a uh, I'm going to need a hole on the other side. Well, I need a hole all the way through it for the bearing, the inside race, and then the outside will be just about, you know, about that deep, I guess. Okay, so I'm working on these wings. i got to do all of these, and uh, onward and upward. Get this windmill going. Okay. Okay, I finally got this one cut and threaded. Now, what I did is I bought one of those uh, ratcheting die deals off of Amazon where you can, you know, thread pipe one inch, half inch, three quarter. And I was threading it and I got about, I don't know, a half inch or so and then that thing crapped out. It started misthreading and shit, so I sent it back. But, uh, we got just enough thread to do this.
and now you know I was able to do the union and now this whole thing this whole bracing system is in place this turn still but it doesn't change anything because you know one goes up one goes down and our uh, shaft turns freely with no I couldn't I can't really tell any any movement here it's doing good so we're ready for the next step and then the other thing is I need some kind of way to stop this because when it gets going and if I have to adjust something I'll need to be able to stop it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing inside there and then this is going to be like a brake shoe <laughs> I need to figure out a way to I think what I'll do is I'll weld some kind of a linkage down there to and once this is in here I'll be able to break it like an old wagon wheel you know <laughs> and what else uh, oh yeah I drilled my 16th inch hole through all these and I think I did a pretty good job because I could see yeah I could see all the way through it I could see the hole all the way through. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there it is. So that's a pretty good alignment there. So the next step is will be to, you know, mill out the place for the bearing. You got to do it in a certain order. First, I'm going to mill out the for the bearing, the five eighths. Then I'm going to drill the hole through for. I got the bearings. Here's the bearings. And then I'll drill a hole through to, for this, the size of, not a quarter inch, but a little bit bigger, because this will be sticking out on the other end. Okay, so that'll, so first to mill the 5 eighths, then drill the hole for this, for the bearing. You know, the inside race here. And what else? Yeah, I have to mill, I have to cut a couple pieces out of quarter inch steel and you know this will the pipe will the center of armor pipe will go through the hole and then the wings will be attached to this there'll be one, one on each end the top and the bottom and I bought a metal I've got a bandsaw it's for wood but I bought a uh, you know a metal bandsaw blade from Amazon and that thing cut <laughs> about that far this is quarter inch steel. I cut about that far and it crapped out. So then I got a replacement and that thing just barely cut there. That was it. That's all it had. Cut just a little bit and it crapped out. So I sent that one back and got a refund. Then I'm, I just ordered one from McMaster and Carr, which would probably be a, be a good, uh, you know, a good blade. So hopefully that'll do the cutting. And then I can cut two of these out of here. One there, one there. I heated this up red hot to try to take all the temper out of it, make it as soft as possible. Anyway, that's the update. So right now I'm waiting for the blade. And what else? That's it. I'm waiting for the blade to cut this piece out. I'm waiting for the mill. I don't have the mill bit yet. So I can do the wings, the spars. Anyway, that's an update, and I'll keep you guys posted. Onward and upward. Okay, I'm going to need some repeatability. So, I need, I'm going to mount this machinist spice to this board here. And, because when I do the, the milling, By the way, these are the best tips here for your... And these are the best screw screws, these square drive. You get them at uh, Ace Hardware. They're called uh, Do-Right or something. Because they drill their own pilot hole. Look at that. And it's square drive. I love square drive. I may need a longer bit. Let's see how this works. That looks pretty good. 
so this fucker is straight. Throw it down. On this side. Then the only thing I have to worry about is uh, it moving on the board with the board. One more. This thing was all rusty. I got it cleaned up and everything. It's a uh, palm grin. I like it. It's pretty cool, you know. Uh, I'm uh, satisfied with it. Okay, so that's solid. So that's not going to move on that. See, and then I can put it on my drill press and I may s screw it to this block you know drill a couple of holes to screw it to this block and then I don't know maybe glue it <laughs> temporarily glue this block to this so there's no you know m movement or as little as possible When I do it, I'm going to have to probably lock this to it also, lock this down, so that this stays, you know what I mean? So that, so, see I'm going to use my 16th inch drill to locate the hole, then leave everything the same, take out the 16th, put it in the mill, and then hopefully that'll, that'll be centered the same way, you know, on the whole thing. This whole thing doesn't matter if it moves, as long as this stays the same as this so anyway we'll get to that once I get the mill whole desert is turning green look at that we had a lot of rain I'm gonna take a walk out in the desert and, and do a flowers video <laughs> okay guys that's it for now onward and fucking upward can't believe that clown loach came out He's hiding again. Can't see much because of the sun. Yeah, that clown loach is hiding again. They hide underneath some rock under there. Oh well. It's a big tank. I got a video on it. I'm going to have to get another video on it, I guess. It's all buttoned up for winter. There's my two gold Severums. I love those fuckers. There's a view of it. I don't know what kind of picture that will make. Okay, I got this thing attached. I glued it here with silicone temporarily. This is screwed to that. The vise is there. Now we can check for... Great. Repeatability. This is actually a 330 seconds, not a 16th. It don't matter. If I can get it in here.
pretty shaky. What's going on there? Alright, let's see if we can dial this thing in here. Wow, that other dimension is right on. Okay, so that means I'm centered with the chuck. So now when I get my mill, I should be able to switch this out, put in the mill, and, uh, you know, mill the hole for the bearing. We'll find out. I'd like to do a test piece. I might do a test piece on this end, just to verify that it's going to work, come to think of it. Because this end here is going to be attached to attached to the the steel plate. And it's going to need a hole anyway, but I'm just going to eyeball it here, that's about halfway. So that's what I'll test it on this side before I do it on this side. So the mill's supposed to be here tomorrow, so then we'll We'll play with it, but I got everything locked down. So even though the whole thing is sh shaken, the uh, this is tied to that. Hopefully, <laughs> okay. Okay, I got the. I got it. My mill. Yay! I got the mill. All right, let's see now. I got this in here centered. And it goes in there. I found a scrap piece, not a scrap, but another piece of aluminum. Well, let's see what happens. Most of these are five eighths, but this one is half inch feed. Let's see what happens. I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that happening. Let's try it again. something that'll really hold this, you know. Well, let's try it again. I'm going to try to feed it real slow and see what happens. supposed to be a center cut also. So, fuck. Ah. 
Could be the mill's kind of fucked up. It didn't cost very much. I'm gonna blame it on the mill. They didn't machine thing right. How is that a center cut? And that thing's like this, right? Look at that. Look how high, much higher this flute is right there. So what's happening is one flute's hitting first. And that's just, instead of all hitting at the same time. Okay, time to get another mill. A higher quality one. Now the other thing I could do is... Well, I don't have a 5 8 inch drill, so... Uh, time to think about shit. Everybody that tries Dee Dee Amanda absolutely loves her. These are all unsolicited, by the way. We didn't even ask people. I love you guys. Yeah, I love the program. So worth it. Probably made 500k. This guy's up 30k. Having everything I need to research on one page is definite time saver. Single day, 1525 profit. 15k on my first TD. Look at this guy. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this one, man. This guy says he made 30 million. <laughs> Read this shit. I don't know, I, he sounds kind of legit. <laughs> I fucking love DD Amanda. Your program is the best tool I've ever used in the last 20, 21 years. It just goes on and on. Okay, if you trade stocks, or if you're even thinking about trading stocks, this is for you guys. This is what you need. Uh, this is DD Amanda. It's the number one stock screener and scanner that's out there. Um... And it uses both uh, user input and AI to find and research winning stocks. And this is, it says right here, easy enough to use by total beginners. Uh, there's really no learning curve at all. You can be finding stocks within about five minutes after you, you know, log in. And it also has a lot of advanced features that uh, are used by professional traders. Our mission is to help you make money by investing in stocks. That's the bottom line. That's what you want from something like this, you know. Now, I use this all the time, and I've found some amazing runners. Uh, you've got here, look at this. They give you one hour of free one-on-one -on -one training and instant support. Having good support on a program is just so critical, you know. I mean, here's their phone number right here. You can just call and text. Um, they've got some testimonials here. I want to show you these. Because uh, they're pretty amazing. I mean, look at this. This is what people think of her. Uh, I love you guys. Yeah, I love the program. Uh, this guy made 500K. This guy's up 30K. Uh, everything I need to research. Uh, I wasn't even in Amanda one one week and he made 10,000 bucks. So these testimonies, it just goes on and on here. So anyway, they've got a, if you want to try, oh, look at all these features, uh, dollars traded, 7MA crossovers, all sorts of stuff. Um, but they've got an $8 a day trial subscription, so you can check her out and see if you like her. Um, and some other subscription levels here. Anyway, I highly recommend this, guys, and uh, do check it out and make some money.